Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste of Music, and today is uh, yet another special day because we're going to be checking out the new Slipknot album. My experience with Slipknot, not a big fan, uh, except for this one tiny period where I got the, I think it was like Guitar Hero 3, it had that one Slipknot song on it, I don't even remember what it was. Uh, this is what it was, um... Yeah, that song was lit! lit, lit. Now I'd say my big issue with Slipknot and why I haven't really dived deeper into their music is I feel like they just hold back just a little bit so that they could have a wider appeal and it certainly works for the band's benefit. You know, they're huge. They have a lot of fans. Uh, but for me personally, I look for something like, say, like Code Orange where it doesn't do that. It just rips your brains out. <laughs> I like something a little darker, you know? They got their uh, gachi masks on and whatnot, you know, that's cool. But for me, I, I say fuck that extra bullshit, just give me some hard music. I feel like Slipknot's kind of failed on delivering that consistently. But with this new album, it's gotten a lot of praise, so I'm hoping that it'll give me that next extra level, at least give me something that I can latch onto and come back to. We are not your kind. This is Yoshi. He's gonna be assisting me through this metal journey. He loves metal music. Isn't that right, Yoshi? Check one, insert coin. Okay. I mean, for an intro, at first it's a little weird, you know, with the electronics, but it does become pretty psychedelic by the end of it, so. Not bad. Now, of course, I'm gonna create a rating scale really quickly for this album. You know, if it's bad, gonna give it the red skull it's because, you know, the skull is red. If it's a meh, give it a shrug. And if it's great, we're going to give it the golden guitar because it's rock music. It's an intro, we're not giving it a score, okay? Next song, Unsainted. That reminds me of the beginning of 33rd Black Glass, like that one little hit. Yeah, guys! Yeah, I'm like Bob the Builder, bitch, with the big two. Dirty hanging out. Like, yeah, I used to skip school. R.I.P. Woozy. Okay, so this was a single. There was, like, great moments here, and then moments that just didn't work. Yeah, the intro with the, oh, you know, like the chorus going on with, I'll never kill myself to save my soul. That's a good message, you know, in general. It definitely seems like it has an uplifting tone. It just has this nice impact to it. I like the line about the anti-hero. I like the line about denial is the darkest when you live in a hole. There's something going on here under their skin. It's just a fun song. It's nice and heavy. Originally, I thought that the contrast between the chorus and the verses on my first uh, listen to this didn't work out, but here, I, I, I like it. This song is uplifting in this very uh, dark fashion. It's, it's impressive. I, I like that track. That was good. I'm gonna give that golden guitar and say that this is an incredible start to the album. Great start. Birth of the Cruel. I mean, this is definitely way different from the last song, I'll give it that. When I listen to this kind of music, you know, I want something at that next level of heaviness. I mean, one thing I'll give this album so far is Slipknot are showing their stripes. They're showing their talent. This live would be, like, ridiculously hype. Slipknot did their job on this song. It's, it's heavy, it's exciting, and you know what? I enjoyed it. I think it's a fun freaking song. What else can I say but Golden Guitar? That's just, it's a fun track. Next, Death Because of Death. Uh, it's a minute, 21 seconds. I would have preferred an 
instrumental here, I feel like transitioning into the next section of this album. I don't really care for these, these sung high pitched vocals. Yeah, next song. Uh, that didn't do anything for the album. Shrug. Neo Forte. These drums, like, like they're just showing their damn veteran stripes right now, dude. Jesus Christ, dude, these drums are nuts. I'll give this album so far one thing. Even when I don't care about the music that's going on, you know, the lyrics are interesting enough to keep me listening, which is a really good backup plan. It makes it so that I'm at least engaged throughout the song and the album in one way or another. Like the lyrics right now, there's, I'm sick as a fuck. It's like, it almost seems like a bunch of nothing. They did a bad job of starting off with saying, watch this. <laughs> Let the music do the talking. <laughs> Seems like this album does a lot of interesting tactics in order of tackling this weird depression meets Satanism. I, I think it's impressive. I do like the fact that it does tie these two worlds together, especially for a band that's this far into their, you know, discography. They're gonna have, like, like this lead singer is saying, you know, you have a bad day. You have a bad couple of weeks. You have a bad year. Even if I don't personally connect to his struggle. He manages to put it on this large scale, make it seem bigger than life. It's it's nice. That part was awesome. I love uh, that. The late that's what you do best. Oh, that's what you do best. That 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 uh, that was cool. That was really cool. I honestly can't stand the chorus of this song. It's it's a real jumbled mess. Could have been redone. I don't know, something about it just feels really... So with this album, it was Slipknot in general. When they're at their best, the album's just insanely fun. The vocals are so growly. They're so in your face. It's a fun listen. With Code Orange, like I was saying earlier, when that's at its best, it's at its most like head crushing, grinding, destructive, like in, in its own kind of different way. I'm, I'm getting a different kind of enjoyment here. And in a lot of ways, I'm seeing why this might have a wider sort of appeal is because of that, because it's just fun to listen to this music. You could put this on in a lot of different occasions. Uh, as to that Code Orange, it's, it's kind of hard to play that at a party, you know? This song's a shrug though. I, I, I had a lot of issues with the chorus. Like that, I could see myself skipping that song. Critical Darling, next song. Look, I like some of the imagery on the song, like the good for you. I don't mean it. Dreams come true. I don't need it. Man, this chorus flies out of nowhere and I can't hear a single word that's being said. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't mind it if the guitars weren't so muddy on this track and it, I don't know, something about this entire song just feels a little bit, you know, underwhelming as compared to these other tracks. This one doesn't stick to my wall necessarily. That was fun. Still going, I like this. I think that the song itself really didn't stand out as like crazy, amazing, immediate, like in your face. It could grow, but as of right now, it's just a shrug, uh, but a good shrug. Next song, Liar's Funeral, which was uh, really well transitioned into. I'll give it that. That was a great transition. My respect was shown to you by the issues with that song. I liked it. it had a lot of layers, it had some emotion behind what he was doing, you know, it had some real impact to it, so yeah, that's a nice holding guitar. Next song, Red Flag. Yo, I love how this song is using electronics, dude. This shit goes so goddamn hard, dude. It punches you in the goddamn face. You know what? 
It's, it's like listening to straight cocaine. <laughs> This whole song, like, like there's this dismissal and this crazy anger towards. I felt that in my system, man. That's that's what I'm looking for right there. Absolutely getting that golden guitar. It's definitely one of my favorites. What's next? Next song, uh, 54 seconds. <laughs> That's a great transition moment into spiders, which by the way, sounds like some goddamn spiders crawling on the fucking wall. Subtle, but I like it. I really expected that song to at least go somewhere, but I'm still alright. It's a shrug. I was expecting a lot more, honestly. Not every song has to blow up, but just it should have done something, you know? It's a creepy song. Let's see if it transitions well in the next. Maybe it'll grow on more listens. I like the sound of this so far. I don't know, this back and forth between the dark shit and the singing, it's something about that kind of takes me out of the song. I don't know man, it's 11 songs into the album. It's been a long time. I'm just thinking like, some of this could have been cut. Like it's cool, but like, save that for like a B side, you know? Check 12, my pain. Nice change of pace here. I like I like the direction it's taken with this song. It's very sweet to the ears. I, I just absolutely love what it what it did just with like this cacophonous, crazy dark like atmosphere, uh, which goes great with the title "My Pain." That was a golden guitar. I love that song. Uh, Not long for this world. Second last track. I'm really feeling it. I mean, I, I, I really like the approach this is taken. I just, again, I love how dark this gets. I like, like, cause you can just sort of feel it through the song. Like, like there's almost like these stages, like it would be through some sort of attack that you're feeling. <laughs> That's another fantastic song right there. I mean, it's six and a half minutes long and it just flew by because it had so many details. It had so many phases and it had a purpose of being there. It feels like they had ideas. They had something to work off of and it translates really well. And it just makes for a very, very enjoyable listen. A uh, Golden Guitar final song, Solway Firth, which was an awesome transition. I liked how it just dived into the next song. So yeah. Powerful note to end on. I love that. I love, oof. I love how the entire album just ended on that one line. That feels like it just sums up the entire thing. This whole album's about depression and, and just the lack of anyone understanding. So, you know, it's not really all that new for a subject, but I love the way it's tackled in such a grim way on this album because it feels like once this thing is finally done with its hour time like it's brought you through a journey like you understand a lot of the pain this guy's going through his vocals which are, which are really powerful and I, I i gotta say he did a great job on vocals Done pretty much this entire album the drums the guitars like this is just a really solid album it gives me a lot sure there are a couple of tracks here that you know maybe aren't as good as others but there wasn't really anything i'd say that was 
uh, it's just straight up bad. I wasn't expecting it to end so strong because the ending of this album really just solidified it, I feel like. The last three tracks complemented each other in such a grand way, considering, I mean, put together, it's like 24 minutes of music for the last four songs, and it just is butter smooth. It just goes by. I mean, these interludes, not really the most necessary. I feel like they don't really add anything. Yeah, Spiders was a little slow, but I think that it, in general, I mean, even like, like you look at My Pain, I feel like that did the slow thing better because it, it felt like this kind of agony sort of chamber, like you were just trapped inside of this dude's like never ending abyss of a, of, of, of a head, you know? And, and just relatively, I got that feeling from a lot of the songs. And the songs that were heavy were really freaking heavy at, at this level of where I was very satisfied with them. In fact, I was very satisfied with pretty much most of this album. I, I genuinely really enjoyed this and I wasn't expecting to. Uh, yeah, when, when there was electronics, when there was something, it was added to, you know, to enhance the aesthetic. I feel like they played it safe on multiple occasions throughout pretty much this entire album. Uh, they didn't really do anything too outside of their comfort zone. But their comfort zone, they know what the hell they're doing. So if you're into Slipknot, this is like very high quality Slipknot. So I would definitely recommend checking this out if it's interesting uh, to you. And yeah, so I'm going to give a general score of what I think. For me, this album was a 7 minus. Way to go, Slipknot. <laughs> uh, would definitely recommend. Really, really a big surprise for this year. Uh, very pleasant surprise. Great album. Sweet. All right, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste of music. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. See you. Bye.